This presentation is about air cleaning and the Harvard CU Boulder Air Cleaner Tool. Many indoor environments are underventilated, and we really must increase ventilation with outside air or particle-free air to reduce risk of transmission. I want to provide resources to learn how to supplement ventilation with air cleaning using standalone high-efficiency particulate air filtration. These recommendations are really focused on reducing long-range airborne transmission. Ventilation and air cleaning will not reduce the risk of short-range airborne transmission. However, in long-range airborne transmission scenarios, we want to aggressively increase the ventilation rates. To do that by increasing outside air supply, opening windows and doors, and supplementing with additional air cleaning if you're unable to achieve um, enough ventilation. Making sure that you can provide the right size air cleaner for the room in which you are applying it. A fan will draw particle-laden air through a fiber filter media, and the very small particles deposit in the filter by diffusion. The very large particles deposit in the filter by impaction and interception. And these combined create the filter efficiency curve, where the minimum efficiency is, is at 0.3 microns. And a HEPA filter, this minimum efficiency is greater than 99%. Currently, there are no standards for testing and rating portable air cleaners, but many air cleaners are certified by the Association of Home Appliance Manufacturers, or AHAM. When you buy an air cleaner, you want to make sure you know what the clean air delivery rate is, and that will also help you understand what size of room this air cleaner would work in. If your air cleaner is AHAM verified, you will find a stamp on the product that tells you the size of the room that it can be used in. The California Air Resources Board provides information on air cleaners that they recommend, and the EPA has a very good guide to home air cleaners. The Harvard CU Boulder Portable Air Cleaner Tool is accessible um, on the internet and it's an Excel spreadsheet which I'll walk you through next. This is what the page on the website looks like. You'll go to this menu under File and download the Excel version onto your computer. When you open the spreadsheet you will see three tabs. The first one has all the information regarding the tool. Um, here is some information about classroom ventilation. These are the American Society for Heating, Refrigerating, and Air Conditioning Engineers recommended ventilation rates. The second tab in the spreadsheet is a tool for selecting your portable air cleaner. You will enter information into the bright yellow fields and all the other fields will help inform your decision. So you first enter the size of the room in which you would like to use the air cleaner. I'm going to change it to 600 uh, square feet with an 8 foot ceiling. Now I have located an air cleaner which I'm interested in and I find that on the, on the box or on the manufacturer's information it tells me that the clean air delivery rate of this unit is actually 250 cubic feet per minute. And then if I want to do this for a typical school I would then decide what the ventilation rate would be. So I would click here and I would either pick low ventilation, typical school ventilation, enhanced ventilation, or good ventilation. Let's go with low ventilation. That would mean I'm getting less than one or equal to one air change per hour in that classroom. So if I add the air changes from the outdoor air ventilation, which is one, and the total air changes from the air cleaner, which is 3.1, given the size of the room and the cleaner delivery rate, I add these up and find that my space has a total air change of about four. I can also figure out that a 250 clean air delivery rate air cleaner should really only be used in a room that's about 500 square feet. The third tab is the expanded tool with examples. And so what you'll find here are different portable air cleaners under consideration. And then you would Im input the size of the room that you are going to be using these devices in and the ceiling height. And here listed are the clean air delivery rates for these products. And then over here on step four, it would be helpful for you to see which air cleaner is meeting your target air, um, target air changes per hour in your room. And then what size room for this air cleaner would be the last few columns in this spreadsheet. So we hope this tool will help you sort out what size of air cleaner would be useful for improving the um, 
effective air change rate in your space. And please note that this is not a, an endorsement of any of these products. This is just a simple example where we provided some of the products that are available on the market.